Aubameyang sent pre-launch career message ahead of Barcelona debut. Rivaldo has sent Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang and Adama Traer a message following their switch to Barcelona from Arsenal and Wolves respectively. Aubameyang made the move to Barcelona earlier this week after his contract at Arsenal was mutually terminated. The forward fell down the pecking order prior to his departure as his last appearance for the Gunners came at the beginning of December. The 32-year-old has initially linked with a lone move away from Arsenal, but his switch to Barcelona ended up being permanent. Meanwhile, Barcelona beat Tottenham to the signing of Adama Traer from Wolves. The winger was named in the starting 11 for the Spanish side's game against Atletico Madrid on Sunday. Aubameyang was among the substitutes. Rivaldo spent five years with Barcelona between 1997 and 2002. He thinks Aubameyang and Traer could be very helpful for the La Liga giants. Barcelona signed two players right before the transfer window closing in an attempt to add more value to their attack, Rivaldo said, via the Metro. Both striker Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang and winger Adama Traer bring a lot of quality and experience from English football that could be very helpful to a squad in a renovation phase that is still looking to find the balance between their young players and more experienced ones. Both players were losing some influence on their Premier League clubs, and I'm sure they are eager to take this opportunity at Barcelona to relaunch their careers, and I believe they will be a good solution in a tough period for the club. In such a hard time for the club financially as well as on pitch, any new player that the club managed to bring in will be important. However, despite the new arrivals I still don't think the club will be challenging for the title or Champions League soon as internal problems must be fixed before that become possible again. Ian Wright is disappointed and sad to see Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang leave Arsenal. When he came to this country everybody talked about him as this party animal, but he's not like that at all. He's a family man. He's a family man that likes colorful clothes and colorful cars, but scores goals. The saddest thing for me was that we don't know what's happened. I'm not really bothered to know what has happened now with him and Mikkel. What couldn't be healed in a time where we need goals? I'm quite disappointed.